Today I'm sharing why I almost always prime before I paint furniture, even with paint that has excellent adhesion. It's not necessarily to help the paint stick, but there's this thing called bleed through, which is basically stains that won't go away unless you use a product that can block them. All right, so first I clean this little mahogany veneered dresser top. Mahogany wood is one of the worst culprits of causing bleed throughs, so it should show pretty well. Then I sanded down part of the dresser top to raw wood. The middle part I just scuff sanded. And the other part I didn't sand at all. Then I taped off different sections. I primed one section with the water-based Zinzer Bullseye 123 primer that says it blocks stains. The next section I primed with shellac base primer called Bin. Within only a minute or two of painting the primers on, I could clearly see a lot of red spots coming through the water based primer. There were a few red spots coming through the shellac base primer on the raw wood section too. An hour and a half later, I applied a second coat of both primers and immediately I still saw a big red spot coming through the water-based primer. I ended up with three coats of primer and then five days later, because life got in the way, I finally got around to painting over the primer. When I painted with the chalk paint right off the bat, you could see a lot of red spots coming through the sections that didn't have any primer on them at all. This is exactly why I prime before painting. After two coats of paint over the primers and three coats of paint where there weren't any primers, I brushed two coats of water-based polyurethane onto everything. And here's what it looked like when we were all done. The no primer sections all across the board had red stains in the paint. The worst of all was the raw wood section, but even the section where we didn't sand had stains. The bin primer section had absolutely no signs of stains or bleed through. And last but not least, the primer I had major doubts about ended up only barely showing signs of bleed through. It was hard to catch on camera, but they were still there. The shellac based primer was obviously the best and that's why you see me use clear shellac or this bin shellac primer on almost every project. Did you know this about priming? Let me know in the comments. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.